Hey everyone, and welcome to the back to the Brogue Let's Play. I almost said Doom Roguelike. Um, right, number keys don't work for this game. Okay. Last time actually went surprisingly well for my first episode. I was really expecting to fail more. But, hold on a sec. I forgot my audio resets every time. There, that should be better. Okay. Sorry, my audio settings don't save after I restart my computer, so I have to reset them every time I want to record. Hey, we got another monkey! I like having monkey friends. In the early floors, they're actually pretty helpful, and later on they can be a nice distraction. A warhammer? Um... Increase our current damage by 214%, but our accuracy goes down by 72%. Okay, um... Basically, with that, we would hit, like, a truck, but we would almost never actually connect. Um, be with the way sleeping enemies work, it's actually, if you catch an enemy unaware, it can actually be in your best interest to equip something like a warhammer even if you have no accuracy with it and use it to murder enemies in their sleep because you get I think it's like a 100% chance to hit no matter how low your accuracy is if not it feels pretty damn close so it usually works out in your interest that way but 72% loss of accuracy when we already have a decent chance to miss with our dagger because of how weak we are at the beginning. I'm not really going to want to use that right now. Um, I'm going to read one of our scrolls. Let's try E. Teleportation. That was pointless. But at least we know what it does now. I tend to like to experiment with the scrolls early on in this game because it helps out a lot later on to know what you're doing when you read a scroll. Most of the time, just blind reading scrolls doesn't do much of anything. Oh, scroll of enchantment. So I'm going to enchant my armor, I think. No, I'll enchant the dagger, actually. Because I'm actually rather fond of the dagger. It's not a great weapon. It's a staff. That's pretty good. I don't know what it does yet, but I'll try zapping the next thing we see with it. Here's a cobalt to test it out on. Summoning. Neat. So stabs are basically basically the same as wands, only instead of having a lot of charges and never recharging on their own, they have usually one or two uses, but they'll recharge over time. Which is really handy, because it means now we have a consistently reusable spell in the form of that summoning uh, spectral blades, I think it was? Yeah. Let's kill that rat. We got another staff. And another small creature to test it out on. Lightning bolt. Okay, that's pretty good. So now we have a summoning staff and a ranged weapon staff. Things could definitely be going worse. Turquoise potion. I don't really need a potion right now. Scale mail. Do I have the strength to actually use that? Yes. It would give me one more armor. And the question mark is because it's not identified, so I don't know exactly how good it is just yet. And I just murdered a sleeping monkey. It's good. I don't like fighting the monkeys because they run faster than you, I think. 
and they steal stuff from you, which is really obnoxious. I think that's what happened to my food in the last episode, actually. It got stolen by a monkey. The helper monkeys that you can get don't actually steal stuff, though, which is really obnoxious. I want my monkey to steal things for me. But they just sort of attack things. Yep, I like that lightning staff. I'm gonna start testing these potions too, actually. Telepathy. Um. Oh. Poison. Well, creeping death. Which is a problem. Uh. Yeah, that might actually kill us. And there's a detect magic, which would have told us that that other one was a problem. So what telepathy does is it lets you see enemies that are out of the way, usually. Uh, where's our... There. So, yeah... This is Deadly Lichen, which is blocking our path. So I think I'm done with this floor. I don't want to really mess around with that. A monkey already died to it. Zap you. Spectral Blades. Do I have anything that might help? That could help. Nope, it's gonna kill me. Yep, I'm dead. So that didn't go quite so well. No, I've got my own recording set up for this. I don't need to use the in-game one. But yeah. Trying out potions blind is always dangerous like that, really. Like, there's no safe way to do it. Rescue a monkey. Getting lucky with the monkeys. Normally I don't find them that often. But they're all over the place here. Now, I don't even have a timer running, so I have no idea how long this is gonna go on for. I just do this character unless I die on like the first floor or something and then call it an episode. Scroll with remove curse. That message there, the rough stone wall, it's actually because I hit the button a few times more than I planned to a lot of the time. So I end up walking face first into walls and such. I'm really disappointed that I died so quickly last time. The character was off to a good start. Ooh, a rapier. We might actually be able to use that now. We'll decrease our damage and our accuracy, so it's completely bad. Never mind. I'll stick with the trusty dagger then. Some gold there. This, um, the swamp gas filled areas are really hard for me to see anything in. Like, I don't know if you guys will have this problem, but for me at least, I can barely see it. Make out any objects in those areas. At all. It's just really... Everything looks like just big green or yellow squares. And since the items are usually those colors as well, it's just... It's like staring at white on white, basically. It's just nothing. Nothing registers. It's a real pain in the ass. I'll say if there's one thing graphically that I would change about this game, it would be that. And that looks like everything, so... Let's get out of here. 
monkey. There you are. Now the monkeys kind of remind me of the dog in NetHack. It's just a little friend you can walk around with. But they're not particularly useful after the first couple floors. More remove curse. So if I find anything cursed, I'm in good shape at least. Yeah, that looks like a dead end, but I guess I'm gonna have to go around the long way, or is there a secret door here? No, it looks like I'm going the long way around to get over there. Oh, and there's a bloat. Ugh, I hate those things. Those, if you didn't watch the last episode, are the bastards that explode into... How do I...? Hmm. Yeah, I can't move diagonally that way. So how do I... I can't get over there that way? So I'm gonna have to go all the way around the map, I guess. What the hell? Oh, I'll oh, murder a kobold or two. Ouch. Running away. Come on, monkey. It's, um... I think there's one of those healy plants over here. I'll let the poisonous gas do its thing over in that general area. That should be cleared out now. Yep. I wonder if it killed that jackal. I'm not actually sure if the jackals can die to poison gas from the bloats. I would assume they can, but what do I know? Oh, cool. I'll upgrade my dagger. And scroll of shattering. That just breaks all the walls. It also makes them glow really pretty colors, which isn't so bad. But it just shatters all the walls around, so it's a good way to get into locked areas. Or bypass certain obstacles that you aren't prepared to deal with. Can also be a problem though. Because it means that, like, if I ran around this corner and read the scroll and I was trying to get away from a monster that was over here, say, it would blow up this wall and the monster would have a clearer path to find me. Also, I think it makes a lot of noise and light, so it attracts attention. I'm going to try a couple potions. Okay. Strength is good. Levitating is good. Hallucination, not so good. But that's why I did it on a floor that's mostly done. Um, yeah, so everything's just going a little bit crazy here. I don't know. I rather like the hallucination potions for their just random effects. It's really co cool to look at, but it gets in the way of actual progress. It's close enough. Okay, it's done now. Gonna have to eat soon. Some monkey. I'm going to throw dart at monkey, throw, dart at monkey, throw, dart, monkey, and kill the monkey, who I guess tried to steal my rapier. Where are you going, monkey? How the fuck? Whatever. The monkeys are kind of weird. Or the ally AI, rather, because I'm pretty sure you can get more than just monkeys. I'm gonna try that cyan potion. Oh. It's a... No. 
It's a potion of kill monkey, basically. Come on, monkey. This way. So is that still growing? Yes. So let's go around this way. I'm pretty sure you can light that stuff on fire to get rid of it with an incendiary potion. Which is also a kind of potion that I may be drinking right now. Oh, no, it's a potion of descent. Which makes the floor below us disappear. We take a bit of falling damage, but it can actually be a pretty good way to escape. And we're hallucinating now? What do we do? I have no idea what this thing actually is. I think that's our monkey. Yeah, that's our monkey. So I'm gonna take a rest. I wonder if we stepped on like a plant that makes us hallucinate or something. Toad. I'm surprised we're not hungry yet. Brown potion. I'm gonna... No, you know what? I'm gonna throw the brown potion at the next thing we come across. Do I have a... No, but I do have a... Um... I was gonna say, do I have an identify potion? Or a skull? Uh, protect weapon. That's pretty good. I don't have a scroll to protect, to um, identify my ring, but I do have a scroll to remove a curse, should it have one. Uh, no apparent effect yet, so it'll be a while before I know what that did, if anything. Oh, that's a jelly. That's a problem. I'm gonna try to throw that brown potion now. That was a blood potion. Okay. So that wouldn't really have helped me at all. How are you faring, monkey? Okay, good. That definitely could have gone worse. Now I am hungry, so I will eat some food. Good. We're out of food now, but we're not completely dead. So, progress. And there's food right here. Yeah. And a sleepy cobalt that we can stab. Try to keep that Healy plant in mind as well, because I'm sure I'm going to need that. Stairs down. Another pink jelly over there. Jellies are your, like, typical slime enemy that explodes into parts, like so. And they hurt pretty badly, which is kind of a problem. Luckily, we're right by the Healy plant. So, it's not too bad right now. It'll get worse. Jackal? Oh. Well, Monkey can handle that, right? Yeah, he can. Good. Oh, no, he can't. He can handle a jackal, he can't handle multiple jackals. And lava. I don't think I want to walk over there then. Some more lava. Hmm. So I think down here is to where I haven't been? Yeah. Sort of. Monkey, are you playing with the cobalt? Oh, I guess I steamrolled it. Oops. Should be the end of this floor then. Acid mound? Um. 
I'll... Well, I've got... My dagger is protected, isn't it? Yeah, it does, so... Monkey. Monkey. Okay. Those will, like, damage your weapon if you attack them directly, I'm pretty sure. Which is why I was throwing darts at it, even at close range. Because I didn't want it to eat my melee weapon. My only melee weapon at this point. Hey, another ring. Eel. It's not that much of a problem, really. Because they can't leave the water. Opal ring. A plus one ring? Of what? Nothing? Yeah, just plus one rings of nothing. And yeah, the acid thing already wore down my armor a lot. I'm going to enchant my dagger, though. Oh. I can't enchant it? There. Okay. Won't let me select it with the cursor. Is it another potion? Or scroll. I can speak sometimes. Scroll of shattering. We're actually getting to levels where that's a lot more useful because it's easier to find situations that are hard to pass by. Poison gas trap. This is actually kind of awkward for me to control because of the way my recording setup is. It's not a big deal, but if I pause between hitting keys, it's because my keyboard is like off to my left awkwardly. It's just really annoying. Oh, I have three darts left. Should be able to. Nope. No. And I died. Shit. Well, I didn't have anything that would have helped me anyway. Had two darts left. Yeah. Okay. I love that death animation where it just like scrolls out of everything. Okay. Well, that's all for now. See you next time, folks. Bye.